What's up, guys? So it is opening day, West Virginia archery season. So super stoked for this day. Excited. There's Jay Bird pulling in, I do believe. I think it's Jay. It's the headlights coming down. Yep, that is Jay. I got Brody with me. And he's he's never got to hunt down here with us in, in southern West Virginia because of sports and stuff. But they had a bye week this week. So he's with me. So what we're going to do, it's early season, obviously, opening day. Our plan is to split up, Jay and I. Of course, Brody's going to stay with me. We're going to split up in glass here this morning, try to find something to chase. What, it doesn't matter who sees what. Uh, the plan is, is if Jay spots one, I'm going to go help him. If I get one glassed up, he's going to come over with me and Brody and help us. There's Brody Lee right there. Yeah, what's up? Uh, he just got uh, moving. We had a late night. We didn't get to sleep till about after midnight. The uh, crew from... Uh, Tethered is here, so. There's the shooter. Hey, there's Jay Bird. What's up? What time did you get up this morning? Early. About four. Yeah. Yeah. You sleep good? Yeah. Until he turned on the lights. I look here, Brady and I dressed like. I mean, matching. <laughs> matching. I, he asked me, he said, what pants you wearing? I said, I'm wearing brown. He said, I'm wearing green. Because yeah. I had his brown ones laid out. <laughs> he said, I'm wearing green then. I said, well. We'll all just get out there and match. So that's the game plan is we're just going to glass this morning and find something for Brody to shoot or find something for Jay to shoot. No, I didn't even bring my bow. I don't even think I'm going to get mine out. <laughs> I, 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 I did. find something or yeah. we'll just let him, or he's going to go out. Let him fling arrows. Okay. He'll get to hunt much. No, he'll get to hunt a couple of days this year. All right, so we're going to get this sprayer unloaded and then we're going to head up and have to probably stop at the sandwich shop and get us a breakfast sandwich. I was hoping we'd say that. Yeah, get me a cup of coffee. We ain't had much sleep either. Ugh. All right, so let's go. We just dropped the side by side off. sleeping, which he typically does while old dad's driving. But we just pulled up here. Well, there's a knob up here that I like the glass from. So we're actually, instead of driving up there, because this this flat up on, above us usually holds some deer, so we're going to get our stuff on. We're going to hug this tree line right here, and we're going to go in here and, and see what we glass in this bottom. got to the first place where I'm gonna glass from and uh, I've actually been sitting here for a while just kind of waiting for it to get a little bit lighter but as you can see where I'm gonna glass there's just a blanket of fog and anywhere else the other two spots that I'm gonna glass it's gonna be the same thing because the same elevation so I'm still gonna go ahead and get set up and uh ready to go once this fog burns off but it could be a little while so brody and josh are at a spot that's they could they could potentially see uh right now because where they're looking is uh kind of on top of a ridge um, and not down in these valleys so hopefully they can uh Hopefully they can see right now, uh, but it's going to be a while for me. We got a couple does, probably 100 yards from us. We need to get up here on this berm 
bottom so we can see all the way across this bottom because we're kind of we're kind of lower to them now. We want to get above them. So Brody and I have kind of got settled here where you seen him. Like the yellow. Like this road right here. Yeah. Going beyond those trees right there. Okay. Oh, I see it now. Okay. I'm going to try to get on him. So Brody's just spotted one, so we're going to try to get on him here. This is Brody's first time, like, glass and spot and stalking type hunting. And we've seen a couple of nice bucks, you know, not shooters for our limbs here on this lease that we've got. But it's a great experience for Brody to get up here and look. And like I was just now telling him that there's patches of, of grass and, and like the stuff we're in, in between the trees. And that's kind of what we're looking for. And like I play, I spy a deer and I get him a general area and he's got to find that deer and glass him up himself to help him practice to get that mental picture in his head of a tail, of a throat, of a, of a face, an eye, whatever it be that you key in on while you're glassing. I ain't heard from Jay. I don't know if he's seen anything or not. So we're just going to keep on glassing. We're, gonna probably, we're probably going to stay here most, most of our hunt this morning and see if we can catch one cruising through there. You can kind of see what we're looking at all the way around. I spotted my first deer here. See if I can get the camera set up for you. Right there you are. Well, the fog has lifted a little bit, and I've actually spotted a couple more deer, one out there. See if I can get on them here for you. All right, you should be able to see them right there. Just like a doe and a young one, doe and a yearling. Couple of them right there. Uh, three at least. See them pretty good right there. Three does. Let's see our first buck. Whew, man, there's deer everywhere. Yeah, there he is. Just a small one. A young one. Oh, he looks like he's on a mission to go somewhere. You got Hawkeye. I'm a long way away. Yeah. All right. All right, so find him in the spot and scope. All right, so this is your, this, this loosens it here, and it's already loose enough to spin. So what you need to do with this is find a point, hurry up, so you can lose it. Cause you gotta go up and find that road, and then you find, then you have to zoom, you know, go down it. You're on it? Yeah, Let me see. Oh, you just think it's easy now, don't you? <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. We've been out here glassing all morning. And we moved spots. Brody learned a valuable lesson. And it probably cost him an opportunity this morning. And it's okay. That's what we're out here for. This is Brody's first day glassing and spotting and stalking. We got this berm right here. The road's right here, berm's right here. And what we do is we run the roads and then there's certain areas on the berm that you can get out and see a lot of country. Well, we got out and 
me, where I'm used to it and I never thought about it, I'm kind of easing up to the berm, taking my time. I'm stopping and behind the berm and looking as I go up. You know what I mean? Brody, not knowing glassing, he just comes right up, jumps on the berm. He's silhouetted and there's deer, you know, a hundred yards from us. So if we would have took our time and kind of just crawled up, we could have maybe spotted those deer. Maybe we couldn't have, who knows? But it was two nice deer. Don't really know what they were, um, but it's always good practice. And I'll kind of show you, and I'm gonna flip the camera around here and show you how I come up to these berms. So there's where we're kind of glassing from. So if I was coming up to this berm, I would come up right through here and I'm staying level, okay, with my eyesight. If I come to here, bam, I'm looking at all this over here. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. Nothing. I come up a little bit further. Now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. And obviously I'm not going that fast, but then when I come up further, I'm coming here and then I see all this bolt. Well, there's a deer right there. You know how I go up arms, I go like halfway. And as I go up, I'm scanning. Especially more. if you're like a tall guy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if you're six four, first time glassing. So, <laughs> so, I don't like this and I saw it. So, yeah. It was right below you. So, so I'm, yards. I was like, oh. like I'm crawling up and I'm just looking. And you know, it's kind of rocky right there, all right. these berms. Well, yeah. Brody kind of, he, he comes up the berm. He's like this. <laughs> and I went like that. And I'm still halfway up the berm, still scanning what I can see. All right. Well, Brody stands up and he went, <gasps> and I mean, when I saw his face, like I knew yeah. that he saw something. He's like, big bug, Dad. Big bug. Oh my gosh. He was going, and, and I was, was like, right below you. No, they, it was, I mean, it was, they were about a hundred yards. It already. One of them. Yeah, they, they, were, starting were, to they were starting to be buggered. And I only saw, I saw one. And he's like, yeah, there's a big bug. So I was like, we need to back off. Cause dude, that's a perfect place to be able to come oh, right on yeah. top of them. Yeah. And so we backed off. And I grabbed a spot and scope because I wanted to put the mm -hmm. clip on it. Yeah. Well, I get back up there and they're already bounding. They already bound across the road going towards the power line. And I'm like, what are they doing? Then I thought there was two does and two bucks. Mm -hmm. And two, three of them went up and over. And then the bigger buck, he cut straight across and he stayed in the thick. What's up, guys? So Brody's got him a nap in. It is about 10.30 and pretty much done with the morning hunt. We are going to scout a little bit here midday and then decide what we're going to do this evening and hunt. Saw a bunch of deer this morning. Uh, saw a good deer that we learned a lot of lessons on. Yeah. Yeah. But... Uh, Jay, he's scouting a little bit before he gets out of here. I think he and Ian are going to hunt this evening. And Brody and I are going to stick around hunt over here, whether we find a deer. Uh, we'll even take a wild hog. Um, if we see one, we're going to try to get on them too. But for now, we're just going to scout a little bit. Maybe put a camera out. We're going to jump on the side-by-side -side and uh, go run around a little bit. And then go grab some lunch and then come back up this evening. Is that yeah. cool with you? 
Yeah. Yeah? You need some more sleep? No. No? How's that tailgate? Stiff. Four foot wide tailgate for a six foot four guy. It works. It works, that's right. You gotta have the clutch all the way in, honey. Oh, it goes way back. I didn't think it went that far back. It's yeah. long. What's well, car clutch? Let's get a little AC going. How about that first? This is confusing. What gear is it in? All right, so that's always neutral. When it does this, it's always neutral. So all the way this way, that's in reverse. Now you gotta pull it up to get a reverse. Yeah, yeah. so reverse. All the way over yep. and up. Okay? So if you come all the way over and up first. that way, you're in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Now neutral. You don't you don't have to jerk. You, just... you don't have to but I'm not doing it. You're grabbing it and jerking. I'm just feeling it. So go to first, that's first gear. Second. And then if you're like, whenever you're right here, if you're like driving. We're, we're, we're not fast and furious, dude. I know, I know you're, but you're talking about double clutching and no. shifting, tire shifting. This, no, it's this, like, because this, first and then This ain't a Supra. I don't <laughs> want to go to like first, if I'm trying to go to, what's it called? Third gear instead of from second, I don't want to accidentally go to first. So like, but you can actually feel you it can, like the in You can feel it. It's not like the yeah. floor. So put it in first gear. Wait. And you're just gonna make a Oof. easy circle here, and we're gonna go out on the road. You gotta let the clutch out. Does it have a little roll whenever it starts going? Well, this is a higher gear in the rear end, so you, it's not gonna be like being able to let the clutch out. And just let it go. You can't. Well, in, you can't in low. You can just let the clutch out real slow, and then low, low, like low lock four wheel drive. It'll just pull right out. Oof. You're fine. You just gotta get used to it. I don't know when it lets out is the problem. You'll start feeling it catch, just like on a motorcycle and four-wheeler. You'll feel it catch. Do you have enough room? Very good. That'll give you a little more. Oh, there it is. So go ahead and swing it. <laughs> right off the bat. Well, let's go. Let's go to second. So, ooh, I wanted to grab a gear. It ain't got to be Speedy Gonzales. No. So, right there where those rocks are, we're going to turn up right-handed, but we're going to stop in the curve. Like right now? No. Should I go to first? Like right here, yeah. Is the clutch in? Yeah. No, it's not. It, it is now. It was getting ready to stall on you because you didn't have the clutch all the way in. So I just... So we're going to go up the hill. So the best thing to do here is you're going downhill, right? So just let it out. So let... No. Let your foot off the brake and let it start rolling. And then easily let the clutch out and give it a little gas go up this hill. there you can kind of let it out as you're going downhill and let the clutch out and then start giving it some fuel but going uphill you got to give it gas and then let, and let your clutch out at the same time so i don't have to push the clutch in like to the very back yeah. to switch gears yes and how do you get it out so smoothly because it, you're just going in and then coming out you're not going hoo, hoo, hoo. You're, you're acting like you're racing You're in, there you, see how easy that is? It's not easy. Huh? It's not easy. That's right. You wanna go four wheel? No. Okay, let's go this way. Light just turned red right here at the intersection. You gonna stop, we're gonna run through the, we're gonna run through the red You light. told me so late, I mean I we're can't. We're gonna run right through the intersection. Some cars going by, hey, what's up? Like just turn green. Why is it rev so hard at first? 
That's what you call greenhorn. And you're, it's okay. That's all you gotta do if you're at the stoplight. It dies. So you just need to give it feather some more fuel. You're going. You gotta let the clutch come, honey. It sucks. It's the same thing with the four wheel. It's not. It is. I can't even, I'm not even all the way out. And it just dies. Because you gotta give it gas. Go ahead, just breathe. See, you're burning the clutch up. That's the smell of the clutch. It doesn't move then. It has no give. It's because you're in. I'm. You drive. No! Dude, it won't. It, will, it doesn't have any give. Like hey, I, when it starts going like that, you gotta get more gas because you're in a bind. Let the clutch out. Let it out. Dude. And give it some gas. I'm all the way in. It doesn't. Yeah, we can definitely smell that clutch. Hey, when you start going in, start coming out with it with the RPMs up. Let the clutch out of the RPM. Now give it some gas. I'm all the way in. What is you this? You know what's wrong with you? What? Stop. Stop. Look at the gears. What gear are you in? That's why it won't pull out. What first? gear? No, you're not. No, it's in third. Yeah, it's in third. It will not pull out in third. That's why the transmission and the clutch just now fell out on the gravel road back here. And that's why we smell it so bad, because we just now smoked the clutch. Then you drive it. No, I'm not driving. Oh. You're in first now. See how much easier it is. Clutch hot, fully released the clutch pedal. Never had that warning before. By God, you can smell her though. Woo! She's warm, I bet you couldn't, you could fry an egg on that thing. Yeah. Smell it. That's the smell you don't want to smell when you're driving. All right, the, the clutch is cooled down. The signage is off. Let's make sure we pull out in first gear all the time. No matter what. All right. Let's make a left turn, Clyde. See how easy that is in first gear? Yeah. Man, we on a roll. Now give it some gas, hit second. Sounds good. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna learn how to pull the trailer. What? We're gonna learn how to pull the trailer. In this? Yeah. Dude, you gotta learn this stuff. Men do this shit. No, not in this. You do. Let's swing around here and then swing back around to where the hitch is at the front of the trailer so we can hook back up. Yeah, I mean, dude, we're pulling G-force here. So now you'll learn reverse at a close quarters. Mm. So let's go to reverse, go to neutral first. There you go. Now squeeze up, all the way over and up. Now you're gonna see the camera. You don't have to worry about lining it up. Let's just let's just get used to the clutch and backing up in reverse. You never I told you before, driving, don't ever depend on the mirror the, the this backup camera. Learn how to use your mirrors. Dude, that's that's perfect how you're rolling with it. I, I'm not getting whiplash. And you and Instant. dude, that's smooth as silk, dude. Brake. Now let's do See, it again. There you dude, that's silky. Silky smooth. All right, clutch in. Now let's pull forward. You had it in third. <laughs> What are you doing? Now I want you to back up where it's longer distance. Oh. There you go. Man, that's silky, man. You're a smooth criminal. I th you know, it's a song, don't you? I think it's Michael Jackson or something. Smooth criminal. 
Is this accurate how close you are? Yeah, the black. It's, you get through the yellow, you're, and then in red, you're hitting. You're 10, 12 feet from it. You're doing a good job. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know we can pick up the trailer from there. Well, but that's yeah. a fine job. You want to take another? another no. You're you're good. So neutral. Do I have to do that? Anymore? Nope. Just pop it down to neutral, and pull to merge the part break up. You're in neutral. You don't you don't jerk it out of the floor. Okay. <laughs> it just comes up. Don't hit the button. Okay, you don't have to jerk the freaking handle off. <laughs> Can I let the clutch out now? You can let the clutch out. All right, now raise your part brake up. You don't have to hit the button, I told you. You like oh. to hear the, let it go. Let the button go. It's not the nuke bomb. Okay, now grab the, grab the, grab the handle and pull it up. Up, all right, good. Now let, you got your foot off the brake? Yeah. Good job. Hit it. That's it. Well, it is about four o'clock. Brody finally woke up from sleeping. You woke up. Huh? We're gonna get the side by side, go ahead and unload it because we're gonna go in a different area this evening. Uh really kind of just scouting and hunting. Uh I know there's some hogs in the area. I don't know if we'll get on any. It's been hot, hot today. We're gonna hit the mountain and see what we can get done. But it's been a great day already, I can tell you that. I've laughed at Brody all day. So Brody and I got up here on top. There's a road that runs this ridge and it goes from timber to CRP to timber to CRP. Well, I was up here Thursday and there was so much hog sign and deer sign along this ridge. There's like five or six water holes and it ain't rained here in forever. It drives a popcorn fart. And, we, and these, these animals are using these five or six mud holes. So what Brody and I are gonna do, we're just gonna, we're just gonna ground hunt all the way around this ridge. See if we see anything. I uh, really don't have any other game plan than that. And Brody's been wanting to ground hunt, so this is the best way to start and learn. So we're gonna get around through here, just take our time. And hopefully get some. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna run down this road, staying on this edge. Well, we just got back down the Jeep, loading the side by side up. Uh, didn't do any good this evening, other than getting Brody some experience uh, stalking on does, which I think that that's the best experience that there is, is just to do it. So, 
didn't see any deer. We heard some deer. Uh, they got close to us in that thicket, but uh, didn't see them. And then, then we saw the two does that Brody stalked up on. Brody saw them. I did not. I was filming from back, just letting him do his thing. Uh, plan is going to the house. It was a successful day. Jay and I and Brody saw some deer this morning. Jay and Ian hunted this evening. We don't have enough phone service to see if they did any good. And then we'll probably sleep in in the morning and then go out tomorrow evening over at my over at the house. Uh, we got a couple of deer that Brody got that, you know, he's going to kill them if they come in. So we're going we're gonna to try that tomorrow evening and, and go from there. It's a kick off the West Virginia season. Uh, Brody said it was unsuccessful. I find it very successful every time he and I are in the woods. So teaching him, this was his first day ground hunting. He got aggravated some sometimes, but hey, it is what it is. That's that's the learning curve of it. So we're gonna head to the house, get us something to eat. Hopefully, got dinner cooked. You think? No. Who knows? Or is it order in? Probably order. Order. So we're headed that away. You got everything? Not your phone? Where's it at? This right here is serious problems. A teenager that has misplaced his firm. You need me to call you? Oh, he's got it. Hey, good luck. Have fun yeah. and enjoy yourself.